Well, this small video is about a guitar called Univox that I'm sure most of you know or at least are familiar with. This one is branded Area, but it's really the same thing. Uh, and the whole purpose of this video is to show you the tremolo, which is somewhat neglected or some people just don't talk about it for some reason. Because, you know, it looks like, you know, something ancient. <laughs> but in fact, the tremolo, uh, obviously a Jazzmaster Jaguar type, but it's built in so much nicer way than anything, you know, it's just perfect. First of all, it has only two parts, which is fascinating how Fender and others still don't come to this. It's just this base plate with the uh, lip from the, from the opening that's bent inside, like this. And that's it, you know, and, and the lip is rounded. I'm not sure if you can see it, it's rounded and polished, so the movement of, of the moving part on, on, on the base plate is really very smooth. And below the base plate there is a, a rubber padding, so it does not clap, it does not uh, make some sort of rattling noise, there's really not so much moving part to be, to be um, causing some resonance or oscillation. It, it's really a genius piece of engineering, you know. The, the whole instrument is, by the way, typically a Jaguar, you would say, you know, short scale, uh, bridge quite similar to Jazzmaster in the overall design, you know, but very different. Like, folks have been playing the uh, Univox when they pick up the Fender Jazzmaster. The first reaction is like, what the fuck? I mean, I've been playing this. It, it's almost the same thing. But there is virtually no issues, neither with the tremolo nor with the bridge, like we have on, on the Jaguar. It, it's just completely fascinating how 50 years have not solved anything. And that really never unwinds strings, never snaps them from that side. You see how small these holes are? And also that the holes line up with, uh, with a bridge. <clears throat> and, and really, it's no rocket science to make a tremolo like this. And the trim arm is fixed in, fixed in place with the screw, uh, with the threading. And for some reason, it does not snap off, like on, on mo the recent Fender USA, uh, what do you call them? The latest, the latest tremolo they had. For some reason, it just works, you know, it's just so stupid to make something as primitive as this that does not function. So, why not someone... Uh, clone this smaller it's, it's it's by the way a very small footprint uh, sized tremolo much smaller than a jazz master and it also is uh, thinner I'll show you in a, in a second part how it functions in a, in a guitar and you'll be fascinated so why why not make this instead of cloning the design that does not work I don't know. And this is how it functions. It's uh, absolutely magnificent. The trim arm stays where you put it. And basically it's really a very simple system. It, it just works, you know, there's no extra noises. There's no bumping because this rubber that's been glued to the underside of this base plate. So there's really very soft action and it functions as intended.
I think this is the perfect tremolo, the way it's supposed to be designed from the start. Uh, I also figured that most people who don't talk about this, uh, as simple as that, they don't have the tram arm, so they just don't know. Because this goddamn tram arm is so hard to find, and and it's not standard, so nothing besides the original one will fit in one of these. So I think, and the bridge is, by the way, I think... Is really similar to the Jazz Master by design, but as you can see, the strings stay where they are, and it's equipped with nines. It's a set of nines at the moment with a short scale, and as you see, they stay where you put them. No buzzing. There's virtually none of the Jaguar problems on this guitar. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Fender, do the homework.